Hi, this is Jen coming to you from the great state of Maine. And for my blind viewers out there, today I am wearing one of my favorite t-shirts and it has a Peaks Island logo on it. And Peaks Island is an island off the coast of Maine, Portland, which I enjoy visiting very much. And I can tell that's this t-shirt that I'm wearing because when I feel it, I can feel the, oh, what do they call that thing? The picture on it. Um, so anyway, welcome. Today, I am going to um, talk about how I make moisturizing hand lotion. It is one of my favorite things to do, particularly when the weather is foul and I don't want to be outside or on a cold winter day. It's just a great activity and it gives me a check mark in the win column. And remember, it's important to have things that we can do that make us feel like we are accomplishing something, that we are triumph, uh, that we are triumphing. Is that a word, triumphing? Yeah, I think so. So anyway, without further ado, how to make hand lotion. The first thing I always do is lay out a towel. I always lay out a towel, just in case. The great thing about hand lotion and making it, as I've mentioned before, perhaps in a different video, is that it is great as a gift. It is great for our planet Earth because it is recycling uh, jars or containers. It's a lot of fun and I can make my own fragrances and it's actually pretty affordable, surprisingly so. What you need are three ingredients. You need olive oil, just a quarter cup, Oh, let me find my olive oil. Let's see. Aha. Nope, that's my water. You need olive oil and you need something called emulsifying wax and you need water. That's it. If you want to have an essential oil to add a fragrance, you can. But fragrance free lotion is also very nice too. And that's all you need. Um, this first lotion I made, I put in some essential oil and it is floral. And I believe this one I made with the essential oil cloves. So they smell very pretty. What you need beyond your emulsifying wax, which by the way is about anywhere from $5 a bag to $40 a bag, you will need two bowls and a measuring cup. Things that you already have in your house, right? Um, where did I find the way to make this? Well, that's one of my favorite things because for my friends out there who can look it up online, that's great. You open WikiHow or some other website like that, you can just type in, how do I make a moisturizing hand lotion? But you can also use your handy device, the Echo. If you have an Echo, and I know I've talked about this or an, 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 a piece of equipment similar to this, um, there is much, much that you can do. So I'll show you how I found this recipe because the same information you get online is often information you can access through your Echo. And then you don't have to use your eyesight or lack of vision at all. It's out of the equation. Alexa, open WikiHow. Okay, here's WikiHow. Hi, ask me how to do anything. How do I make moisturizing hand lotion? How to make hand lotion. Seven step. Step one, stir together one quarter cup, 60 milliliters of olive oil in one quarter cup. Alexa, stop. So you can see Thanks how- Thanks for using Wiki. <laughs> you can you see, can Alexa, stop. You can see how easy it is to make uh, or to access the recipe. So I'll go through it very quickly, but just know um, that your end result are some beautiful lotions that you can, again, put in glass jars or you can put in a recycled bottle that you've cleaned out. Just make sure you've cleaned them thoroughly. I run them through the dishwasher just to make sure they're clean because this one I think contained honey. And if for my blind viewers out there, I'm holding up a little glass jar that is quite pretty and I put a little bow on top of it because I might give it away as a gift. And I even had a dear friend of mine, uh, he made up some labels so that he even has a little label I made up with, I think a moose on it. 
come. Anyway, you take your large of the two bowls and you mix a quarter cup of your emulsifying wax and a quarter cup of your olive oil and you stir it together, stir, stir, stir. Your, no your next step is in the smaller bowl. You put in one and a quarter cups of water. So again, quarter cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of wax in one bowl, in the big bowl, in the small bowl, a one and a quarter cup of water. And again, my measuring cups all have braille on them. I take the eyesight out of the equation for much of what I do anyway. Remember, if you get creative, you can work around a disability. There's a lot of workarounds. You don't need to do it the way everybody else does it. You find what works for you. What works for me also is I take this and even though it says I can heat it up on a stove top, I pop it in the microwave. I, I heat up my wax and my olive oil mixture for four minutes. I heat up my water for five minutes. And then I take the water and I dump it into the emulsifying wax. Stir, 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 and I've got my hand lotion. It's that simple. If I want to add, um, um, if I want to add essential oils, I'm holding up a big box that I ordered, which was just super fun. It was a birthday present to myself and it's got, I don't even know how many different little bottles of essential oils. You want to talk about great stimulation. If you can't see, start sniffing all these little bottles. Do, do you really know what frankincense smells like? What about myrrh? What about sandalwood? I didn't know until I started smelling all these. And I don't need to read the labels. My nose works just fine. If I don't know what it is, I can still determine whether I like that smell in my hand lotion or not. But anyway, I just add five or six drops and voila, I've got fragranced hand lotion. Uh, and it's easy and fun. And again, it is a check mark in the I can do it column. And if I can do it, you can too. This is Jen signing off. Bye.